What's up everybody, Nailan here at Nanitech Studio, so welcome. I have received questions from you guys about door and window schedules, so I figured out why not. So in this video, you should be able to make yourself one. So the model that we are using is something that we have modeled previously on this channel. Link is below the like button, so if you are interested, go ahead and check it out. Highly recommended if you are an absolute beginner in Archicad. This video is going to be divided into different sections so you can go ahead and jump right into the section that you find more important. But first, we need to begin by placing in the window markers. To add a window marker, you want to select the window, go to settings, I'll go there with Ctrl T and find dimension marker right there. So in the dimension marker, you have a huge list here. I will choose the default window marker 23. In here is where you choose what it's going to look like. I like to keep that off to keep it as simple as possible. And in the marker position, I like to put in two millimeters just to keep it a bit off the window but not so far away. So I need to uncheck the show seal because that information, I will include it in the schedule if I want to show it. And I will uncheck the dimensions as well. Under marker text, I can change to a style that I like to see. And this is what it should look like. So in order to add in the ID, you have to go to classification and properties right there. And under ID, you can type in the W01. So that is going to be your window marker. So we can pick this information by alt clicking and transfer it to the windows by control alt click to the windows which have the same or similar settings just like that. So once we have done that, we can also create markers for the other windows by marking across all those windows. Then we select the window tool, Control A to select all windows, go to the settings, I'll go there with Control T, and then I'll put in the mark of W02 for now. So under dimension marker here, I choose something like the default window, and I'll uncheck everything else here and keep the position as close to the window as possible. Then I'll go to here and uncheck the seal and check the dimension. And in mark text here, I can go ahead and check the style that I like to see. And then we say OK and they will be marked. And once they are marked, choose the windows that are supposed to have a different mark because this window is different definitely from this. So these tinier windows are supposed to have a different marker. So once we have it selected, we will go to settings and under classification and properties, we will choose a three W03. So those are the three windows that we need to work on in the schedule. So I'll Alt click to pick this window and put it here because I know it should be the same window right there. So for the schedule, we want to be in the project map here on the navigation tab. Go scroll down to schedules elements and window schedule is right there. So once we open that up, we want to fit it to width such that we can see all the windows that have been used in the project. It's way too much information. I like to keep it as simple as possible. So to the top right corner, we have scheme settings. So click that and we can see that to the left, we are in window schedules and right up here, the classification of everything in the window is what is being captured. And this is all the information that is being displayed in the schedule, which we can adjust by selecting some things and deleting them to not show that information. For example, these ones, I will go ahead and delete them. And you too can go ahead and select all things that you don't want to see. For example, all this, I will just leave the seal height. It's what is important and the quantity. I will delete everything else. So remove, and now I have little manageable information. But as well, there are certain things that I like to add into this. So 
adding fields here is where you have the opportunity to add in more things so i'll go in here and the things that i like to do have no fields so i will create my custom text and bring them in just below the element id i need to put in some description and i like my quantity to be low right there so definitely you can go ahead and rearrange the things to what you want to see this 3d i like to have it above the 2d this 2d should be below the seal height display this and that will be it for my arrangement i'll say okay and this is definitely what i want to see and you can see that we have those three windows nice and clean This is supposed to be location and as well you can select this thing and give it a font style bold and left align just like these ones have been so in here we also need to put in description which is supposed to describe the window so with it selected we can bold left align and put in that text style great that will be the same for the text which is on this other side and we we'll put in the style that we like to see so you can see that it's easy to adjust the sizes of these displayed elements for example i know that this description is supposed to be big enough of space to describe the window and you can make some of these spaces a little bit bigger to sort of give them breathing space if you wanted to change the, the units for these things, so you can go to options, project preferences, and in dimensions, you can change to plain meter, plain millimeter, like I like to do. They will be changed accordingly. In the location, I'd like to note that this window is supposed to serve the master bedroom. The next window is supposed to serve the other bedroom. And the final window is supposed to serve the store and the WC. And perhaps the most important information, which I don't have yet, is this one here, which is the description. I like to keep this as mark and I like to keep this as like 3D elevation. So in order to access the information about the window here, I can select it here in floor plan. So once that is selected, I'll go to file, library is an object, I go to open object. And here is the information which is vital, triple window with optional transforms and different opening types. So I'll control C to copy that, go into the schedule and ctrl v to paste it and in order to see it i might as well need to check wrap text so that it is well displayed so in here is where i put in the dimension so this window is supposed to be 1.5 by 1.5 millimeter high triple triple window with instead of option here i can put in a 300 millimeter high transform vent okay vent sash and different operating types maybe that may not be helpful can put in and two side hang windows with a fixed glass middle sash and that will be the information for that window cool so i'll go ahead and using the same technique put in this the rest of these windows
can add in dimensions. So we can go ahead and check this to add in dimensions. So for that, I like to just put them on the right side. Say OK. And those are added automatically. Select this annotation. Go to dimension here. I like to put them below. Say OK. And let's, and of course, check that to have them displayed. And you can change the annotations further by create, clicking on annotate. So this is all going to open. So in here, I, I just like to indicate some wall here, the 200 millimeter wall, just to give a feeling of it. So in here, I like to choose something like a common brick fill. And I will then check this such that I put in my own polyline, which is going to be a solid line of black, a huge black, such that I'm able to capture this. So control click to remove this section. So I'll go ahead and select this control shift M to mirror it to this other side. So now I have done that. So I will copy that such that if I say OK, that is added there. I need to also add it in this one here. Click annotate. So now I can save this view by right clicking on this one and say save view. So here you can change a few things. For example, these dimensions are appearing in one in meters. So I like to just pick them in plain millimeter and the name window schedule will work for us. Say create and that is being created. So to save that, to publish that view, we need to go to the layout book. And here we can create a new layout and name that perhaps a window schedule. I can make it an A3, create, and that's been created. And finally here, just bring this window schedule right in here and it's been created. We can go into the settings of this thing and under title, we might want to uncheck to go to no title because we already have one. And as well, we can make it a little bigger to fit the paper by going into here and making it twice as big by choosing scale two to one. And this is what we have. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this and I'll see you next time.